Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking to differentiate the function f of t is equal to the third root of t over t minus 3. The first thing we're going to do before we find the derivative is convert this into the power function form. So for the x to the root of t, for whatever x is, this is going to be equal to t to the 1 over x. So when we're taking the third root, it's going to be t to the 1 over 3, and then the denominator stays the same, t minus 3. Now this is something that we can more easily take the derivative of using the quotient rule. So our derivative is going to be equal to the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. Firstly, calculating those derivatives. This power function right here, you take the exponent and you bring it down as your coefficient and then your new exponent is the old one minus one, so one third minus one, which is negative two thirds. So it's gonna be t to the negative two thirds minus t to the one third, the derivative of t. We have a linear term here, so its derivative is just its coefficient. So one minus the derivative of three is a constant, so the derivative is zero. So minus zero, one minus zero is just one over t minus three, times t minus 3. And this is equal to, distributing out, we have 1 third t to the 1 times t to the negative 2 thirds. When you're multiplying two terms with the same base, you add their exponents, so we have 1 minus 2 thirds, so t to the 1 third. Minus 3 times 1 third is minus 1, t to the negative 2 thirds. And then minus t to the 1 third times 1 is just t to the 1 third. This is over t squared minus 3t minus another 3t is minus 6t plus 9. And then simplifying this, we have two like terms here. So 1 third t to the 1 third minus 1 t to the 1 third. It's going to be negative 2 thirds t to the 1 third minus our last term t to the negative 2 thirds. And then the denominator stays the same. And this is your derivative. Um, f prime of t. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.